Former MoMA Land member Daisy has good news for her fans regarding her legal battle with MLD Entertainment. Daisy, who was unfairly removed from the group in 2019, successfully won a lawsuit against MLD Entertainment in 2021. The lawsuit was regarding unpaid earnings amounting to around $77,000. However, MLD Entertainment decided to file an appeal prolonging the legal process. In February of the following year, Daisy mentioned that the appeal was still ongoing, but now it appears that the case has reached a conclusion favoring Daisy. She tweeted, Everything has ended as of May 16th. Their appeal was dismissed as they did not submit any further evidence to court. Imagine wasting so much time just to lose. In addition to this, she also revealed that she was sued by MLD Entertainment for defamation in 2020 because she had stated that the survival show Finding Momo Land was rigged, but the company lost that lawsuit too. Congratulations to Daisy, but this isn't the last time that we'll be talking about unpaid earnings nor lawsuits against companies in this video. On an equally important no, we have a worrying update. It's been reported that Espa's Giselle couldn't take part in filming for Knowing Bros because she's currently dealing with some health issues. SM issued a statement on June 1st revealing that Giselle would be sitting out on filming, citing health reasons as the cause for her absence. But understandably so, fans have started expressing their concerns over the members being overworked during their promotional period. Since it was also recently revealed that the members tend to sleep four to five hours a week when they're promoting a new comeback, it isn't surprising that this will start to take a toll on their health. Let's hope that the company allows her to rest properly so that she can get better as soon as possible. We all wish her a speedy recovery and for her to get well soon. On another note, now former Big Bang member T.O.P. is getting flamed by netizens for an Instagram story that he posted. Recently, he confirmed himself that he's not a part of Big Bang anymore and has started another chapter on his journey as an artist. However, netizens agree that he should still remain respectful to his former group, whether he's a part of it or not. T.O.P. posted a news article on his story which read, Big Bang T.O.P. from being an entrepreneur, space travel, planning to release an album, shocking step forward. But to everyone's surprise, he had crossed out the name of the group. This was seen as disrespectful and T.O.P. was accused of crossing the line. A netizen made a post on Nate Pan writing, even if he's leaving, if he's been a part of Big Bang, he should at least keep his manners. Seeing him cross the group name like that is serious. The comments agreed with the original post saying that the fans have every right to feel offended by his actions considering that he's been a part of the group since 2006. Opposite from that, some people are arguing that the fans are overreacting since they still support Sungdi, but are drawing the line at T.O.P. crossing out the group name. A commenter said, If this is what actually made Big Bang fans angry and not all the other things other members have done, then the fans themselves are the weird and problematic ones. Like, their standards are really messed up. Now let's talk about the real shocking news that took the entire industry by surprise. On June 1st, Law Firm Lean, which represents EXO members Baekhyun, Min, and Ten, announced that they have sent an exclusive contract termination notice to SM Entertainment on behalf of the three artists. According to Lin, the boys have made a total of seven requests for documents regarding their earnings and payments from March to May. They want a clear and transparent records of the company's earning calculations, which they believe is their basic right as artists, which it is. However, SM Entertainment being SM allegedly refused to disclose the information to them. Lin also revealed that SM has been imposing lengthy exclusive contracts on its artists ranging from 12 to 13 years and recently demanded premature contract renewals to extend the contracts to at least 17 to 18 years. The artists see this as a misuse of power by the company and a violation of existing laws regarding exclusive contracts in the entertainment industry. They have decided to take legal action against SM Entertainment's unfair slave contracts and serve as advocates for other artists under the agency who are also bound by similar contracts. The lawyers involved in the case reference past incidents involving Dolbang Shingi as a precedent and suggest that the same issues may apply to other artists under the company, which no one was surprised about. The members of EXO also expressed their apologies to fans for causing concern. In response, SM claims that other companies are attempting to exploit the recent turmoil within the company by trying to take their artists away from them. The company states that they have detected external parties taking advantage of the situation by approaching their artists with false information and incorrect legal assessments. According to SM, these parties have made unconventional proposals persuading the artists to ignore their exclusive contracts with SM and sign contracts with them instead. SM accuses these external parties of committing illegal acts through false rumors, slander, and flattery to deceive the artists and encourage them to breach their exclusive contracts or sign additional contracts. SM went on to claim that these attempts are illegal and intended to create conflicts between the company and its artists, as well as
was among the artists themselves. They vowed to take legal action against those who are doing so. Considering SM Entertainment's history with artist contracts, it's difficult for fans and everyone following the situation to fully trust their statements. But wait, there's more. It's been officially confirmed that BPM Entertainment, the agency representing VVs and others, is the alleged external party involved. SM claims that they have verified that they sent BPM a certification of contents, indicating that BPM approached the trio in an attempt to sign them away. BPM Entertainment has responded to these allegations by denying them and threatening to take their own legal action. A representative from the agency stated that MC Mong, who's listed as an executive director of the agency, met with the junior artists for a personal gathering with no attempt to recruit them as artists. Furthermore, they clarified that MC Mong does not hold the position of executive director within the agency. Considering these problems, it's been reported that EXO's planned comeback has been postponed. EXO had previously revealed their plans for a full group comeback this year to commemorate their 11th debut anniversary. However, their intentions were disrupted by the unexpected enlistment of Kai and now the whole dispute between the members of EXO CBX and SM Entertainment. According to these reports, EXO had originally planned to begin filming their comeback music video on June 2nd, and there has been a delay in this schedule. Though, it looks like SM Entertainment went to the Blockberry Creative School of Handling Internal Issues as they keep denying that the comeback is being affected by the recent events and will go on as scheduled. They stated that the group will film as seven members, but fans find that hard to believe. But the members don't seem to want to be quiet about the issue and came out with their own statement so they can explain in their own terms what's going on. The statement came through their lawyers who have responded to SM's contract termination clarification, emphasizing that their clients made their decision independently and denied any signed contracts with other companies. The core issue revolves around SM's refusal to provide settlement agreements to external parties, raising concerns about potential scams. The lawyers argue that the artists have the right to access settlement data and seek advice from legal representatives and accountants. They question SM's refusal and the advice given by the artist's legal representative, questioning accountability for any wrongdoing. The lawyers highlight specific contract language indicating the contract period will be provided rather than viewed, which could have significant implications pending court interpretation. Regarding the contracts, the lawyers emphasize that the initial contract was excessively long and relied on the company's power to enforce auto renewal agreements. They argue that this constitutes a slave contract and unduly takes advantage of the artist's position. The artists consider filing a complaint with the Fair Trade Commission against SM's practice of signing lengthy and unfair subsequent exclusive contracts while an existing contract is still in effect. Despite terminating their contracts, the members express their intention to continue EXO activities and have proposed ideas for doing so outside of SM. They thanked fans for their support and commit to pursuing EXO activities diligently and wholeheartedly regardless of the legal outcome. In conclusion, the lawyer's response challenges SM Entertainment's attempt to manipulate the group's comeback for fan support. Knowing SM's history with the so-called slave contracts, netizens are fully supportive of the members in their decision to fight for their rights. Some of them even express disbelief at how people are siding with SM in this case and not the artists. The comments from them include, Why are people standing a company? If you look at what SM is doing, it's literally modern day slavery. They've been doing this since the old days. They also seem to have Sehun's support, even though he can't do it directly. He went on Bubble on June 1st right after the issue broke out and wrote, Fighting, let's go. There's going to be a lot of unexpected things. Let's have a great day. Though his message was vague, people believe that it is in support of the EXO members. As this is an ongoing issue, there's going to be more updates in the future, so make sure to stay tuned. Until then, we fully show our support and love to the members. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!